K-pop songs sometimes just hit differently, especially when there's a language barrier that not understanding the song, it just somehow feels a deep connection with just feeling the raw emotions. And that is what the anime Girls Band Cry did for me. It really captures the emotions, especially when it comes to trying their best to try to create something for itself, knowing full well that it's a risk to go for your dreams. And along with that, with Nina's background, with just her being bullied and just how she coped with her life with through music along with others that are also going through their own struggles and you can see throughout the journey of the episodes that it's a lot about momoka and nina and momoka being full of dreams and such but then going through failure and such holds her back you can see that nina being part of the journey of just trying to help her understand and really frustrated it is because of her music that helped her overcome like the struggles when it was when she was in a corrupt school life and i just wanted to share how j-pop in this anime really connected me in some way especially when it comes to those that actually try to aim for their dreams but just didn't seem to work out and especially when it comes to change they leave their former life of having some sort of security but at the same time it's sometimes not worth being in that kind of toxic environment for cgi anime it does a really good job animation is just very smooth and you know it's good cgi when you don't notice anything uh whenever i think about something good i think about like trigon stampede it really captures that visual effect with such the raw emotions with some of the characters and it really especially when the first episode oh my god that actually made me like that, that actually, I can't believe it actually made me tear up when I was listening to towards like end of the episode. Oh, when you really just see the, you see what, all that build up for Momoka, just having, you know, just face, seeing her old companions before making that change or making that choice of to go with an agency that doing the things that are, sells. Nina being the old version of Momoka with being true to yourself with music and especially what Momoka said to Nina was to really just having all your emotions just out with her songs or with her singing. Sometimes when you think about some relationships, some statuses are complicated. Overall, that's kind of what Nina is. <laughs> she's just really authentic to where she came like where she come from and where just very direct with when she comes to confronting things i usually like those kind of friends too that once i can confront things even if it hurts and that's the thing that nina is trying to argue with momoka is trying to be real with her music uh just being true to herself rather than that's in fact why she left the band in the first place but it's because she wanted to be true to herself but you know when much trying you know with the street performing and such it just there's only so much that you can do for like alone and that's the thing that i really like about nina too is the fact that she always tries to like push momoka to be true to herself for that audience for just being enough so that you can play for the audience that want to listen to her because that's what saved nina in the first place that's what inspired nina to make that change to move out and i think a lot of us can actually feel that when it comes to our own inspirations and of course with that nina being in a toxic environment with her school years with being bullied and just all the frustrations with her support system not really supporting her for me <laughs> funny enough all right don't laugh but for me it was like middle school naruto and because of how i can relate to or have at least knowing that there's an existence that someone else at least know the existence of like loneliness and such and try and prove you know, prove people wrong or find out whether it's i don't know some frustration or find purpose in their own life and with, in which case Naruto was trying to be Hokage. All right, okay, you can laugh. Each of the members having their own like issues. Nina, for one, is just like her. At least you learned that she's moved out to uh, leave her hometown from the countryside. And as through on, you see that uh, it, and it sucks. Her support system was suck it up, you know, or just accept it, just move on. But then it's, you're never gonna forget that moment, those defining moments. And for her, defining moments when she actually finally gets to what rescued her, what inspired her to change, and just... Oh, dang. When you see her like locking the room to play the music out loud, it's really it's, it's such a touching moment. At least it makes me very happy to see see that. And then you have like Momoka, who, who we see that. The first introduction is just like, yeah! <laughs> 
But in reality, Momoka was holding deep inside, just trying to succeed or she kind of just gave up already, but you can see that she was really holding back so much. Oh man, when she started pouring out, oh man, bottling up those feelings and then just having it all burst out in one moment. Seeing that she used to be in her band before with Diamond Dust and just her leaving due to changes and such that she couldn't accept because it would change who she is and despite her strong will to really try and be true to herself it's really still hard to make a living it's only fair to say that there is no right right or wrong choice when it comes to whether to stick to the agency with music or you know doing your own thing you just have to make the choice that gives you the least regret there's success in both areas and she supports them despite not being a part of them and vice versa also that Diamond Dust also cares about Momoka and happy that she's gonna make music. It hits you with the wave of feels, but also a very funny moments as well. I'm just talking about all the, the deep parts of it, like in depth of the serious moments, but there's a lot of hilarious moments. Man, that flashback with Momoka when she was younger too with like cutting all options and just like straight up just going all in with her career really reminds me of like Will Smith's young act, like his his way of success back then. You can see that I'm talking a lot about like Nina and Mopika and it's because of their relationship with how Mopika sees like her old self in Nina. And it kind of reminds me a lot about Face Day Night Unlimited Blade Works with Archer and Emiya with them facing each other with their own ideals. All right, play the music with Last Stardust. Also another thing to point out is like Subaru with her her career with, you know, she has a secure, secure job with her um, connection with her grandmother with like her acting career and then not being so happy with that. And then there we have like Tomo and Rupa who were roommates but also work at that people shop. You can see that they even have a following of their own composing music. But still they have to make a living off of still working and such. And Tomo having her own issues with not having no support when she grew up. That piano in the beginning of the opening, that shit gives you goosebumps. Uh, one highlight that I, I remember from one of the episodes was with Rupa tolerating one of like the bad customer service and it's like he kind of gives you that drive or that force to like want to really make it happen but also how long can you that's it's so undetermined when you'll blow up it, i i can relate i can relate when it comes to the retail work also it also makes me wonder that is anime a really good way to promoting music i mean with the storytelling is doing a really good job i mean hey it sold me so i'm so jealous of people that know about Togenashi and togeri them also witnessing like their first song in one of the episodes oh man i i can only imagine like the nostalgic feeling overall you can tell that j-pop means a lot to me and uh, just like Nina, hold strong feelings when you have clouded thoughts and just have someone out there relating to you. Anyway, I just want to say I'm super lucky that I stumbled upon this uh, channel that um, explained a little bit better on Girls Band Peak. And just want to say also check out Togenashi Togiri's uh, channel as well. And just want to thank you for watching. Anyways, Arigatou, thanks. Okay,